and welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is the breakout star of Love and Hip Hop Miami. This season, we've watched her struggle to break into the U.S. music market. Take a look. Afro-Latina, elaborate. Yeah. Are you African, or is that just because you have an Afro? You see that brainwashed mentality that I'm talking about? Uh, hello? You're only a couple of shades lighter than me, like, by this much. At the end of the day, in the music industry, they're looking for cookie-cutter poster child. So, where are the women that look like myself? You must do good music, huh? Please welcome Amara La Negra. Yes, Bobby. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. We're so happy to have you. Mm -hmm. Mom. Yes. So yes, Mom. Come on down That's here. Yes. Join the melanin crew over here. Yes, Absolutely. Um. You see, I changed it up a little bit. Yes. I like it. I love I know. it. We love it's it. so pretty. Look at you. Once in a while, I like to change it, you know, because, I mean, I know they be complaining, but I don't really do it because of them. I just do it because I think it's fun to change once in a while. Yeah, because I was going to say. And embrace the forehead, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have, like, 10 feet. Fingers worth the forehead, but I am working it. You yes, see you it. are. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So, at what age did you know you wanted to be a performer? I think I was born being a performer. Mm. I always knew it was my calling, and um, I started doing international TV when I was four years old. Okay. In a very, very known mm. TV show called Saul Gigante. Mm -hmm. I was there for six years every Saturday. So I grew up in the environment. Like mm -hmm. I always knew this was my calling. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. And you also used to dance for an Afro-Cuban group. Uh, I, well? I used to be in an Afro-Cuban dance group as okay, well. Okay. Um, I've done it all, let me tell you. I've worked <laughs> in radio, I've worked as a TV host. I have done everything. A lot of people sometimes think that in life to succeed is one straight path. Oh, no, it's no. really not. Yeah. You go from here to here to here mm -hmm. to here to get to where you want to be. Yeah. So dancing uh, Afro-Cuban music was one of those steps. Good. Yes. So, so with you doing so much and, and having a background in, in dance and then also radio and, and performing, yeah. do you think that that prepared you for life? Love and Hip Hop uh, Miami, and then how did that come about? How did you mm. end up on that show? Yeah, you know what? I um, sometimes you think that you're prepared, and you're really not. Mm -hmm. um, and reality TV is completely different than anything else I had ever done mm -hmm. in the past. Of course. So how did I get on it? Well, actually, my manager um, manages a few of the cast members of Love oh, and Hip Hop Miami. Okay, okay, he okay. told me, "Would you be interested in in you know being a cast member and auditioning? Mm -hmm. I guess somewhat." And I was like, "Yeah, sure. I mean, what's the worst that can happen?" So I did it, and they were like, just be oh, yourself. And I was like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, um, you know what? I don't really believe in that. I think it's more you, it's what you put out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm very consistent. It's the same person you see on TV as the same person you see here off camera, or whatever. So I was just being myself, and it, and it was my truth. Yeah, mm -hmm. So yeah. that's all I did was say my truth. Right, yeah. and obviously, some people are just not ready for truth. And you had mm -hmm. to deal with so much during this season, especially emerging, <laughs> right, especially emerging as an Afro-Latina artist in the U.S. Right. Um, but you had to deal with colorism. And I, were you even yes. expecting, expecting that to even come to fruition when you got on television? You know what, I've dealt with it my whole life and I know mm. that a lot of people, I know, <laughs> I know you guys are tired of hearing me talk about it all the time. I just feel that the conversation needs to continue. Um, continue mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't know, so you have to talk about it. And I've dealt with colorism issues mm -hmm. my whole life. Even working in the Latin industry, mm -hmm. I was always usually the black girl in the group. Um, and I always mm -hmm. say that I felt like a, like a bug inside a cup of milk. You can always spot, that's the black girl. <laughs> Because um, there really wasn't more of us. Yeah. So mm -hmm. representation is really lacking um, in the Latin community. Mm -hmm. And information, education is lacking in the American. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't know that there's Afro-Latinos, that there's Latin mm -hmm. people that live, that look like me in mm -hmm. every Latin country. Not everybody looks like J-Lo, Sofia Vergara, Salma Hayek, you know. There's a lot of people that look like me. All types right, of hues. Right. Yes. 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 So, yeah. Which we find you very beautiful, stunningly oh, gorgeous here. Oh, thank you. Yes, absolutely. So let's, let's, sw let's switch gears a little bit okay. and, and talk about the music business. And, and yes. some of your castmates, as well as your producer, uh, Holly, producer Hollywood. Not my uh, producer, okay? Not no, yours? He's, he's, he's not? He's, not he's just producer. on the show? He's in the show. Okay, well, we're going to have him on the show, then. <laughs> well, young Hollywood is on the show, and he has some nasty things to say in yeah. regards to you not really making it in the music business here in the U.S. because he said that the business was too cookie cutter. Is that correct? Right, right, right. Um, a B, less Macy Gray, more Beyonce, right? Mm. But, but I think you are very unique, and I think you're going to do 
well. I Amen. think you're doing immensely Amen. well. I, I, I take that in. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All the way. Yes. Um, you know what? Till this day, um, people's comments really, I, I'm only but human, right? Mm -hmm. So as strong as I try to be and I am, there are moments where I get vulnerable of and course. certain comments do, you know, hit home. But that has never stopped me from pursuing my dreams, and it won't. Mm -hmm. I will continue to work to get to where I want to be. I've done it since I was four years old, and I'm not going to stop because of his comments or anybody else's. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I know my vision, and I know my purpose in life. Yes, yes, yes. So let's talk a little bit about um, you have some music that's been out. Mm -hmm. You have a song that's debuting now yes. called Insecure. Tell me a little bit about Insecure. Yes, Ma. Where, where did you. that come from? <laughs> <laughs> where exactly did that come from? Was it something that you were experiencing, and it caused you or inspired you to write the song what actually happened? actually um I like to do music that women can relate to yes. in general I think that every single woman has been in a relationship that at some point you felt insecure mm -hmm. like and you know you have that intuition like I know something's wrong I can smell it I can feel it in my gut yes. you're doing something and anytime <laughs> okay. you ask oh you tripping you crazy mm -hmm. you yeah. doing too much mm -hmm. so then when I heard this song because I'm working with amazing producers yes. Tehran from Rock City Super Dupes like oh, I have an yeah. amazing team shout out to Army Peoples um, and they, they presented this song to me mm -hmm. I was like I love it yeah. I feel that everybody has been in that place I was in that place at some point as well where he made me feel like I was fat I was ugly your boobs aren't big enough your butt isn't this your oh, da -da 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 -da. and he made my self esteem go all the way down to the floor and it happens to the best of us. Yes, it does. So, you know. Ooh. Yeah. It's, it's so much in there. He must not be seeing what I'm saying. All this beautiful. I, I, I hope honey. you're watching. Look at all of this. Look at me now. <laughs> Look at me now. Yes. We'll be back with a lovely move. Yes, all of this. Really Amara, right after this. <laughs> <laughs> and we are back with the beautiful Amara Lanegra. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Well, I don't know if, if many people in the U.S. knew yes. that you dropped a single back yes. in 2013 called yes. IE. Yes. That was immensely a big uh, success over in the Latin market. Yes. Do you think that the platform of being on Love & Hip Hop has helped you to kind of caveat you into more of the, the U.S. market? Yeah, most definitely. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't really know about me till Love & Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people feel like, oh my God, where did she come from? Listen, <laughs> I've been doing this forever. Okay, I yeah, already yeah. had a fan base mm -hmm. just in the Latin market. And I really always I did want to do the crossover. Mm -hmm. I, I love being able to bring my culture, my sure. music, my sound into the American market, mm -hmm. even if it's throughout, you know, fusion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, I think it's definitely helped. And I am very grateful to the franchise and the whole team for allowing me to use their platform to That's promote right. my music and my Girl, you better you better go. You better. Time. I know that. Come on, so, now. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. I know you, know what? you know what? You know what? Realistically, I always am very grateful to every single Absolutely. person that I work with because they are part we of my journey. Tell. Yes, I am very grateful. I, I don't say it just to, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I totally understand. We can tell. We we know how to, how you really are by the way you treat people in the green room. Yeah. You were lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank Absolutely. you. <laughs> Speaking of lovely, it's time for us to do a lovely game. Oh, yes. my God. Oh, Famous froze. froze. No. Now, we're going to okay. show a little fro. Yeah, because we love your fro. And then you know y'all We're going to help you. <laughs> I love that. Okay, okay. All okay. right. So we're going to show you a couple froes and then mm -hmm. Miss Quad and I are actually going to help you. Yeah, we will. Okay, okay. okay. All right, because okay. we haven't seen him either. Okay, All right. cool. All right, here so we go. So let's get our first fro. Uh, oh, I know that one, Salon. That's yes, Salon. That's yes, Salon. Yes, right. I love that, Salon. Are we going to reveal it? It has to be Salon. Shout out, kisses to Salon. Yes. 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 Okay, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Let's go Ooh. for our next I love, one. I love. Where's the next fro? Oh, I know that. Oh, this I is from, oh, from, this come is, on. Um, um, um. Yes, from his name roots. is uh, from yes. the Roots. Yeah, yes. yes. from the yes. Roots. So what's his name? Questlove. Questlove from the Roots. There you go. Yes, yes. I, I knew that. that. Come on, yeah. Questlove. Okay. All right, we got, we got time for one more? One more, one more. Okay, all right. Can I know? Oh, oh, oh do I know? Um, is that Shirley? My, Michael yeah. Jackson. Is it Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. I know that. I was about to say Shirley Chisholm. Oh, I got to say Shirley Way to go. Oh, my God. No, my history. All right. Oh, this is a good one. You know this one. Oh, I know this one, too. Come, uh, he's, he's in the music business. Oh, he's legendary. He's legendary. He died young. He, he died young? I, no, I, I was going to say him. That. No, I was going to say that's Lenny Kravitz, but it could be it Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Hendrix. Hendrix, right? I don't know. Who is Who it? Who is it? Jimmy Hendrix. Jimmy Hendrix. Oh, yeah, good, 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 I missed good. that one. Okay, yeah, but I did right. good. I did you good. You did really good. Did good. you even think that yes. you were going to... We have one more? All right, one more. Okay, one more. Okay, cool. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh my oh, God. Wait, oh, who I is that? No, no. She's, she's fabulous. She's Miami. talented. She has a great personality. Right. Oh, my God. Right. She's an Afro-Latina. She's, she's everything. She's Who like, is that? I, I think. I'm not sure. Tell but us. But I think her name is Amara. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. 
I love that girl. Yes. She is everything. Yes, girl. Yes, she is. And we love her too. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you, you so much for having beautiful. me. Beautiful. Amen. Really Amen. Amen. Out. You can thank find you. her new video, Insecure, online. And always, the conversations continue on sistercircletv.com.